Howdy, it's Bill again. And I told you I'd have more recipes. I always do, right? Um, so today, this is kind of an interesting thing I've kind of figured out, really like. And uh, it's really pretty simple. I was just prepping food, so of course, I have stuff flying everywhere, right? But um, what I'm going to do is I'm making a marinade where we're going to skewer we're going to marinate shrimp and skewer them and grill them. And you can put it literally on, any, on anything. You know, you can put it in pasta, you can do whatever you want. But um, it's really basic. And what I like about it is it really feeds on the fact of what kind of fresh herbs do you have. So somehow you want a combination of parsley, cilantro, and basil. You want to come up with a total of about a cup. Now. This is like a compacted cup, so, you know, loose leaf is going to be two cups, right? It's going to be quite a bit, so don't, don't, don't be shy because you're going to want a lot. And we're going we're gonna to adjust the consistency uh, at the end with olive oil, so, you know, in the, in the amount we want. So we've really got a lot of leeway here. So I had a bunch of basil leaves. Got a bunch of Italian parsley here. And it doesn't have to be perfect because we're making a marinade, you know. So if you got some stuff in the fridge and it's starting to look not so great. And I got some cilantro here. See, it looks like a lot, right? But if I were to compact, well, actually, when I process it all down, it'll look like nothing, right? Um, I got some scallions. Now, scallions are kind of stringy, so I did slice them. You know, kind of big because they are going through the food processor. But I wouldn't like just like cut the ends off and throw it in. The other surprise is I made uh, cocoa bond and I had like a truckload of thyme leftovers. So I'm just going to put a little bit of thyme because I think thyme is going to go great. So I just want a good size pinch. Okay, we're not going to kill it with it. And this is, drum roll, this is the surprise. I've got some lemon zest. This is really going to help bring out that flavor uh, of, a, of any kind of seafood. So I just want to get, and once again, you know, when you zest, it's really light. And this looks like a lot, but it's, it's really, if I, once again, if I smushed it down, it's a couple teaspoons. And I like it, so if it's a little too much, I'm, I'm okay with it. And of course garlic. Well, it's kind of funny because um, I cut open the, the garlic and there's all these little teeny cloves. So normally I'd be saying like three or four cloves, but I also had to do like six little teeny tiny ones in here. Last but not least, I need like a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes, and a few tw twists of pepper, or ground pepper, which comes out to about a teaspoon. So it's basically like a teaspoon of everything, right? All right. I want to give this a couple whirls so I can see what the heck this looks like. And it's going to be noisy, so I'm just going to hit a couple pulses and then I'll, I'll talk again. So now we have this beautiful mixture. And it's funny. Really smells good. Okay. So I'm going to start with probably about a quarter cup. We're going to probably end up with closer to half a cup, but I always say I start with about a quarter cup just to see what the consistency is like. Scrape it down. Grab a spatula. In 
and this does smell like really like the bomb diggity. Okay. Now we've got this pretty rough. This looks like um, tabbouleh or something, right? Um, because the the herbs are all kind of large at this point. We've got to break that down quite a bit more. And as long as I got the lid off, I know I need another probably quarter cup. So we're going to hit about that half a cup. Get back in there. Don't try and run away from me. Nothing like olive oil and herbs and and that lemon zest is really lightening it up. Got just a little bit more of pulse. Move this out of the way because you can't see through it. Very sharp. I'm always very cautious with this. So now what I need to do, kind of mix it up here. And I want to take just a little bit here because what we're going to use it for, about a quarter cup, is we're going to, when we, when we grill the shrimp, all this good green stuff is going to kind of go away. Yeah, um, so I, I want to keep just a little bit of fresh stuff out, and in fact, oops, I got a little lemon juice here, <clears throat> trying to thin it down. So I'm really going to go with about two tablespoons. <clears throat> and I'm just going to kind of make this a little slurry. So right before I serve it, I can put this on top. So this is really kind of ready just to go in the fridge until further notice. Then I got a bowl. And this is where we're going to do the marinade again, right? So now I've got a little uh, sugar in here, got a couple, a couple teaspoons, maybe closer to a tablespoon. Because I want this to kind of caramelize and kind of stick to the shrimp and just add a little bit more flavor, right? And you know, it's crazy. When you're doing a marinade like this, you don't have to make a boat ton because guess what? Excess is just going to all fall off anyways. It's not really going to stick. I'm dying though because it smells really good. The fresh herbs. And I've never put time in it before, but trust me, the time will be just fine. That looks so good. Okay. And if we need ever need more liquid, guess what? We're just gonna throw in some some more olive oil. 
So let's check that out. Just mix this up. It is pretty thick still. So let me get those shrimps. Let's see what it looks like. So I got about 20 good sized shrimp because I think that um, for two people, you, 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 this is this is the main part of the meal, right? And I buy these ahead of time, peel them, freeze them. Um, sometimes I put a little olive oil in uh, when I freeze it if I think it's going to be a while. Jolly Roger done a good job. See, so even though I had all those really large shrimp, everything's really well coated. And that sugar's really gonna help, okay? It kind of change the consistency to make it a little thicker. And you want to be careful because sometimes the shrimp is kind of wet. Oh Lord, this is really, So now we need to do, not much, but I'm going to give it 20 minutes in the refrigerator. In the meantime, I've got some skewers soaking in water, because I use those bamboo skewers and you know, if you put them on the grill dry, yeah, it's going to be kind of a nightmare. So this goes in the fridge, I'll be right back, 20 minutes, we'll get them skewered, get them grilled, and I'll show you what we're going to do with it. See you in a minute. All right, these shrimp look shrimply divine. All right, I just thought of that, sorry. <clears throat> and the grill is toasty hot outside. Um, it's really hard to uh, film outside because first of all, it's really breezy and all the outside noise. Uh, you know, I've tried it before, it just doesn't work. But basically, I wanna show you, we're gonna put this together, uh, you know, Get your grill hot, uh, two minutes aside, you know, it'll turn color. It's really all it takes to cook, cook something like shrimp. If it were more involved, I would probably, you know, figure out a way to show you, but I think you can probably handle it. All right, so what I have, got my shrimps. I got my little tray here set up, and I soak these, and I always soak a ton of them because Sometimes they splinter. I see one here that's a little defective. And so you want to make sure you got, got enough, all right? I'm gonna show you that right now. Oh, these shrimp look really good. So basically, you wanna go through the shrimp twice. Doesn't matter if you start with the tail first or the head side first. It really doesn't matter. Get lots of them good stuff on here. And you don't want these not, you know, unmanageable. And you don't want to squeeze them all together, like I started to do there, because I wasn't paying attention. So I'm only going to put like four shrimp on a skewer. And really the reason you uh, refrigerate this, it's not really to get the marinade through the shrimp. It's the fact that I want it to cool down so the, the, the good stuff kind of sticks better to it. So I'm gonna finish this up, run this out to the grill. And when I come back, you're gonna see what these beautiful things look like and what we're gonna do with them. So let me finish this up and I will see you back in a couple minutes. All right, so literally um, two minutes aside on a really hot grill. I'm going to show you how beautiful these look. Ooh. Or 
it's harder to get off than they are to put on, I swear. And believe it or not, you don't have to cook shrimp until they're like rubber. Just just cook them enough. That you want to keep them nice and juicy. And I hope you can see just how beautiful these shrimp really, really are. And that little bit of sugar in the marinade really, really helps it all kind of come together. I'll move this ugly, dirty pan. Oh. You can see that this is a this is meal for me because I'm just going to dig in, right? What am I going to do with all these shrimp, right? Well, there's so many options. So I want to I tell you that you can toss this in a little pasta. That would taste great, right? A little, just, just a little pasta. It could be, if you want to use like a penne, what I'd probably uh, do is maybe um, make a little quick sauce with a little butter and cream and Parmesan cheese or something um, just to give that pasta some, some body to it. You could actually use red sauce, uh, just a plain red sauce, and just set the shrimp on top, you know, because take your pasta and toss it in the red sauce, put on a plate, and just lay these on top. And these are just beautiful. But I want you to think outside the box. So I had some leftovers. Leftover lo mein. Lo mein has a lot of very delicate flavors to it. So all I gotta do. Lay a couple on here, right? If I can do it, I'm making a mess. There you go. So go to your favorite takeout Chinese food uh, and, and, and get some lo mein. Um, you know, do it with rice. If if it's just a little too dry, we still got that that sauce in the fridge. You can pour over it. Um, the marinade actually stuck to it really well, and the fried and the I mean the lo mein has actually got a lot of uh, a lot to it, so I, I think this would be fine. But you see how how lovely this is and how easy it is. I can't wait to try it. That's all I can tell you. So, moral of the story is: keep watching my videos, subscribe, comment, and uh, let me know what you think. Uh, give this stuff a try. Give me some suggestions. I'm running out of ideas, please. Anyway, I'm going to let you go because I'm going to try this. So keep up the good work, and I'll see you right around.